Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Please be joined by Josh Shattuck, the head football coach at East Grand Rapids. Hello, Josh. How are you? I'm good, Casey. How are you doing? I am doing well. So uh, let's just, you know, of course, another season uh, under your belt. Really good. Um, you know, one of the best seasons that, uh, since since you've taken over. This is, I believe, year three for you, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Um, so what is uh just tell about talk about the summer and what this uh what this group has been like for you guys? Yeah, obviously settled in uh you know going into year 3 of the program most of the kids are you know have have played inside the program either their freshman sophomore year or their sophomore and junior year so systematically feel pretty good about that. We've uh have not had a lot of staff turnover which is really good. Um probably one of the biggest things so our kids are used to our coaches, our coaches know our kids and, and just feeling better going in into that uh, year. Kid, great off season, uh, like everybody else, just getting after it in the weight room and um, good summer competition wise. I've seen some really good uh, competition, had some good team camps. So um, just like everybody else, just ready to get, get started and play some real football. All right. So now we have to talk about all of the players that are back um and also all the all the names to watch this year um for for you guys so uh just uh let's start with the offense go to the defense and then the special teams yeah so we graduated um a small senior class last year but a very talented senior class um in terms of number of starters and production so um offensively we do bring back about six kind of seven guys that saw some starting experience um four of them on the offensive line um, so, uh, Zach Fouch will be a three-year starter for us. He's going to play center this year. Um, he played primarily guard last year. Um, Will Kovlevsky is our big, uh, six foot nine, 305 pound left tackle. Um, he had a great year for us last year in, in his back. Um, Jake Tiedema was our right tackle last year, probably going to play some guard. And then Grant Adloff was actually a freshman last year that we played, uh, started for us the last couple weeks of the season, including the playoffs and, uh, he, he'll be back um, playing guard. So we feel really good about, um, you know, anytime you return uh, that amount of experience up front, that's kind of where it starts and ends for us. And most people at teams would agree, you know, having that back is good. Um, Carson Thornton split time at quarterback last year. We, we kind of leveraged a two quarterback system, pretty unique. Um, and he was a big part of that. And uh, he's had a great off season. He's put on 20 pounds. Um, he was about 170, 175 last year, and he's just under 195 right now. He's worked hard in the weight room, had a great offseason. Um, and then Isaac Mulder is a returning starter, is our boundary receiver. Um, and so we feel pretty good. Uh, Caden Gossens is, uh, played a little bit for us at the end of the year last year as a sophomore at H tight end, um, and he'll be back as well. So offensively, I think we've got, like I said, seven, eight, nine guys who – uh, we're in the rotation last year and have some experience and most of which was starting experience. So we feel good there. Um, and that's where we need to get better. Obviously in our three losses last year, we scored a combined 13 points. So, you know, our two regular season losses, we were shut out in both of those. And then we scored 13 points in our playoff loss. And um, obviously, you know, easier said than done, but finding ways to score uh, some points against the the top end of our schedule has been a, you know, focus a, a point of emphasis for us. Defensively, we graduate 10. Um, so we return really two guys that started. Matt Rose um, started on the defensive line when we were in our four-man front last year. And so he's basically a starter. Um, and then Will Zykowski started at inside linebacker. And um, all the other guys will be first-year kind of full-time starters. So obviously we have a lot to produ uh, of production to replace there. And we were, you know, we were pretty good defensively last year. Um, pretty stout um, in most of our games. So um, a lot to, to you know, uh, to bring back there. And also I forgot Will Cannon um, is a slot receiver who will miss a couple weeks with an injury here at the beginning of the year, but he started for us last year at slot as well on offense. So, um, yeah, like I said, most of our production back on offense compared to defense, um, but overall still a lot of talent to replace from last year's group. Uh, special teams. Yeah, special team. So Will Cannon was our kicker um, and Daniel Klein. Uh, Will Cannon kind of handled our PAT field goals. Uh, and then uh, Will, uh, not Will Klein, sorry, that's his brother. Daniel Klein uh, was our uh, handle kickoffs. Um, and so we returned those guys. Uh, Peter Heinz was a, a very good punter for us last year. And so we will have to replace him. Um, and he was a good player. So um, kick game, we should, you know, we, we used three different kids last year in the kick game, you know, one for each unit of kicking. So we needed to replace our punter, but the other guys are back. All right. Um, 
Okay, so we've talked about all the kids. Now let's talk about the uh, the upcoming schedule. Um, all right, so of course the twenty nine. Of course, obviously tons of changes with the uh, with the division for you guys. So I'll just uh, I'll just run through this. Uh, I'll just run through this here real quick. Um, the 29th of August, uh, we were at Lowell to start off the season. September 6th, home against South Christian. September 13th, at Grand Rapids Christian. Uh, September 20th, home against uh, Northview. Uh, September 27th, at Holland Christian. Um, October 4th, home against uh, Thornapple Kellogg. Uh, October 11th, at Grand Rapids, Ottawa Hills. October 18th, home against Grand Rapids Catholic Central, and finishing out the regular season October 25th at Forest Hills Central. So, um, of course, some um, pretty good, pretty good schedule. A lot of uh, there's a lot of new, uh, new, new things with the uh, with the with the division this year. You go from the white to the black division. Um, just uh, just kind of talk about um, um, what this year is going to be like in terms of the schedule. Yeah, it's unique. Obviously, our, it's funny because our non-conference schedule are, is three teams. Three of the four non-conference games are teams that were in our conference before. So our non-conference schedule are actually the opponents we're familiar with. Um, all four of our non-conference opponents were teams we played last year. Um, but then inside the conference, it's basically an entire new schedule for us. So, um, you know, that lack of familiarity with the opponents, you know, is is what it is in terms of, you know, not having played them at any of the any levels uh, in the past, um, at least recently, so uh, that'll be a big challenge. Um, we feel like our schedule is strong top to bottom. We play two defending state champions and a defending state runner up on our schedule, so um, we play you know some really good teams. Um, kind of unique going one, two, and three non conference, so we don't start conference play till week four, uh, and then we finish with uh, Forest Hill Central as a non conference game week nine. So yeah, I mean we just feel like. Uh, it's a it's a unique time, obviously, with the shifting in, in of schedules and the shifting of the conferences. And we'll just, you know, uh, take it one week at a time. Yeah. OK, so obviously this week is uh, is off. So, you know, with you can still condition and all that fun stuff. Uh, well, obviously, no football activities. But uh, next, of course, the next few weeks getting ready for the, that first game. Uh, what what uh, what what are the next few weeks going to be like for you guys? Yeah, so uh, we have a unique schedule this year because the way the season lined up, our teachers report to work next week. So it, it condenses our ability to practice, meet all that into one kind of big block of time. We're going to go late uh, or later in the day. Um, so, you know, that first week will be um, we'll still go with two practices. it will be two shorter practices um, that will allow us to have some meeting time and um, some lift time and, and things like that. So we've got a pretty creative schedule to kind of balance um, the way that the workload is for our, our teacher, our coaches who are working in uh, during the day. And so um, that'll be a little bit of a challenge that other teams are facing as well. Um, and then once we get into the week two, uh, that's when we hit more of our normal practice schedule because we start school. So it'll get more traditional, you know, after school practice till then. So next week will be a grind like it is for everybody. Just, you know, work, you know, our adults, our coaches are working normal, you know, working their job until three o'clock, three thirty, and then on the field practicing till eight or nine o'clock at night with all the various meetings and walkthroughs and things. So it'll be a grind, but that's what it's like for everybody. And we're just excited to you know, get all of our installs in and fine tune th some things from the summer and just have everybody there every day. And um, it will be, yeah, it's exciting. All right. Well, Josh, thanks so much for taking the time to talk with us and best of luck to EGR this coming season. Awesome. Hey, thanks, Casey. Appreciate you having me on.